Topic number three was polynomial addition and multiplication. And these problems are all very similar. We're basically going to distribute and then multiply and then combine like terms. You've done this a hundred times. And so we're just gonna run through these problems and hopefully you'll be able to pick up on the little spots that maybe you missed something small. So the first one, we're gonna take the quantity 4x to the third minus 5x to the second minus 3x plus seven and we're gonna multiply it by the quantity 2x minus five. So we'll start by distributing 4x to the third power. So 4x to the third times 2x plus 4x to the third times negative five. And then we'll distribute the negative 5x squared. So negative 5x squared times 2x minus 5x squared times negative five. Distribute the negative 3x, so minus 3x times 2x and minus 3x times negative 5. And then distribute the 7, so plus 7 times 2x plus 7 times negative 5. Now we're going to go back through the problem and do all of the multiplications. So 4x to the third times 2x gives me 8x to the fourth. 4x to the third times negative 5 gives me negative 20x to the third. Negative 5x squared times 2x gives me negative 10x to the third. Negative 5x squared times negative 5 gives me positive 25x squared. Negative 3x times 2x gives me negative 6x squared. Negative 3x times negative 5 gives me positive 15x. 7 times 2x is 14x. And 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. And now I'm going to combine like terms. So I'm going to put together my negative 20x cubed and my negative 10x cubed. And I'm going to put together my 25x squared minus 6x squared. And I'm going to put together 15x and 14x. So my answer is going to be 8x to the fourth power minus 30x to the third power plus 19x to the second power plus 29x minus 35. All right, moving on to problem number two. Problem number two asks us to simplify three times the quantity 2x minus five times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus two. So we have three terms being multiplied together. We're gonna start by multiplying the first two terms together. And then whatever we get for an answer there, we're gonna multiply by the third term, by the third expression. So three times two X minus five is six X minus 15. So I need to take that six X minus 15 and multiply it by that third expression, which was X squared minus four X plus two. I'm gonna take the six X and distribute it to all of the terms in the second expression. So six X times X squared plus 6x times negative 4x plus 6x times 2. And then I'm going to distribute the negative 15. So minus 15 times x squared minus 15 times negative 4x minus 15 times 2. I'll go back and do my multiplication. 6x times x squared is 6x to the third power. 6x times negative 4x is minus 24x squared. 6x times 2 plus 12x minus 15x squared. Negative 15 times negative 4x is positive 60x. And then negative 15 times 2 is negative 30. And now I'm going to put together my like terms. So I'm gonna combine negative 24x squared and negative 15x squared, and I'm gonna combine 12x and 60x. 
my answer is going to be 6x to the third power minus 39x squared plus 72x minus 30. And then on to our last problem in this problem set. Simplify the expression 3x minus 1 times the quantity negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 7. So let's go ahead and get started on that one by taking the 3x and distributing it to all of the terms in the second expression. So 3x times negative 2x squared plus 3x times 4x plus 3x times negative 7. Then we're going to distribute the negative 1. So minus 1 times negative 2x squared minus 1 times 4x minus 1 times negative 7. Go back through and do our multiplication. 3x times negative 2x squared is negative 6x to the third. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. 3x times negative 7 is minus 21x. Negative 1 times negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared. Negative 1 times 4x is negative 4x, and negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Combine my like terms, so put together the 12x squared and the 2x squared, put together the minus 21x and the minus 4x, and my answer is going to be negative 6x cubed plus 14x squared minus 25x plus seven. So same process over and over and over again. We start by distributing and then we go through and do our multiplication and then we go through and we combine our like terms. Pretty straightforward repetitive process. I'm sure that you've got it and you found your any little mistakes that you made along the way. I'll see you again in problem set four.